traveling beneath the human guise, the threat to my person is lessened and much information can be gleaned. However, the illusion is flimsy and any act of aggression on my part can break the spell. Something is amiss. The wagons from Avon has just never turned up. The trading caravans from Avernus did not show up this week. Very strange, you know. Vassabunt lay, its glory now stained and faded, a faithful child in the looming shadow of Nupraptor's retreat. Something's not right. The pilgrims go in, but I ain't never seen one come out. Nupraptor's keep lay west of Vassabunt. I would seek to cut the cancer from its heart. Nepraptor had servants. One day, one escaped the keep and stumbled into our village. Mad he was, and his skin and hair white as a sheet, scared out of his wits. The nights can get very cold around here, stranger. I can help you get through it. Good day to you. Raptor and servants. One day, one escaped the keep and stumbled into our village. Mad he was, and his skin and hair white. as a sheet, scared out of his wits. The wind carried screams from the west. I couldn't help but smile. Someone else in this world was suffering more than I. The Heart of Darkness <laughs> The Mage! 
Cage is insane, I tell you. Insane. Listen, can't you hear him cackling to himself? The gaping moor of Nupraptor's retreat rained upon Nosgoth all his pain and misery. The disease begged to be cleansed. Something's not right. The pilgrims go in, but I ain't never seen one come out. The mentalist Nupraptor was renowned through Nosgos for his tricks of the mind, telepathy and telekinesis. Pilgrims travelled from all across the land seeking the comfort of his lies. I sought not his wisdom, but his life. <laughs> Can I not mourn in peace? Leave, leave and let my solitude be complete. <coughs> 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 Oh, 
I came upon one of Nupraptor's serving girls, catatonic with fear, choking out half-words through bloodied, broken teeth. Although tempted by hunger, I stayed my hand, allowing her to tell her story. She spoke of her lord, Nupraptor, driven to insanity by the brutal slaying of his beloved Ariel. She spoke of his self-mutilation, sewing his eyes and lips shut to deny the outside world. Fueled by despair and hopelessness, he turned his magic on the circle, infecting their minds with his madness. 
Nupraptor cared for nothing now, save his pathetic self-pity. Scars such as hers would never heal. Death would only be a mercy. I came upon one of Nupraptor's serving girls, catatonic with fear, choking out half words through bloodied, broken teeth. Although tempted by hunger, I stayed my hand, allowing her to tell her story. She spoke of her lord Nupraptor, driven to insanity by the brutal slaying of his beloved Ariel. She spoke of his self-mutilation, sewing his eyes and lips shut to deny the outside world. Fueled by despair and hopelessness, he turned his magic on the circle, infecting their minds with his madness. Nupraptor cared for nothing now, save his pathetic self-pity. Scars such as hers would never heal. Death would only be a mercy. The cretin squandered life and left it seeping on the floor. Such waste was a travesty. Perhaps Nupraptor needed to be taught a lesson as to the value of blood.
When conjured, the energy bank permits me access to mass amounts of magical energy for a brief period of time. However, when the moment passes, I will be drained of all magic, unable to cast even the simplest of spells. <coughs> Should this object strike an enemy, rot and decay would instantly eat their flesh and leave only a pool of blood and tissue. For a time after, the toxins are still active and therefore lethal to the touch. From the depths of the retreat's eye sockets, I viewed Nosgoth in a different fashion. The glass seemed to warp the image and taint the color, <laughs> as if Nosgoth needed assistance in making its corruption apparent. to fail the circle once more? Leave, Paladin! I do not need your protection. Come, Cain. Come, share my pain. <laughs> So, this was the mentalist Nupraptor, this broken, pathetic little man. Yet crippled as he was, he would not yield without battle. Very well, old fool. If it is death you seek, I will not deny you.
have accomplished my task. The mace is amongst my most useful of weapons, for it merely stuns my victims, allowing me ample time to feed. Spiked mace. I placed Nupraptor's head before the Pillar of the Mind and watched on as it dissolved into the stone. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. Nupraptor was but the genesis. Forever tainted by his madness, the circle was beyond redemption. For them, absolution lay only in death. In me, they would find their deliverance. But first I had to defeat their shepherd. Malek, defender of the Nine, lay in a keep to the far north, past Vasabunt. It was time for me to test the wrath of the Pillar of Conflict. Death in the Circle breathes life to the Pillars. For every Pillar, there is a token. Only with these shall they be restored. But to reach a warrior, you must first breach his ward. Find Malak and destroy him. Only then will the circle fall. Evisceration, 
Let fate choose my enemy's demise. <coughs> <coughs> Nup Raptor's head. A medley of death and evisceration. Let fate choose my enemy's demise.
The bastards and Stenchen Crow shun me as Nozgov shuns them. I know what it means to be an outsider vampire. I fear you not. But remember this. There are others who will speak to you. So long, long as you know how to look. It's not safe around here anymore. Damned brigands and thieves in the wilderness. Ouch! Hands off, you ugly oaf! The Heart of Darkness Ugh! <laughs> 